Hello, it's Ricardo and welcome back to Elite Dangerous and Elite Dangerous Odyssey. With the release of Update 8 being announced and the content that's what's going to be in it, one of the main focus points a lot of people have been looking at is one of my favourite topics, a brand new SRV. Yes folks, we're going to get a combat SRV, as mentioned in the following comment on the forum release post. And with humdinger of an announcement, and one I've been waiting for for God knows how long if you've watched my stream, I thought I'd take a look at the old Scarab SRV, and have a look at its shortcomings, and what it's actually really good at. The good old Vodal Scarab has been with us since Season 2, when getting down and dirty on planets was a thing. However, its specifications, although quite impressive, though underpowered, back then still remain underpowered today, in particular the cargo carrying capacity. The Vodal Scarab has allowed us to go and explore strange new worlds, as opposed to, as recently, walking around them. Driving around in this little mini jeep has allowed us to go and explore Guardian sites, Thargoid bases, or just generally trundle around shooting rocks in the aim of getting materials and picking up dropped manifest from other ships. Vodal Scarab SRV is a lightweight, all-terrain, wheeled vehicle designed for exploring planetary services, equipped with a turret-mounted dual plasma repeater weapon. This dual plasma repeater turret, along with a 25 megajoule shield capacity on the Vodal Scarab, is the Scarab's only defense against attackers and the environment. And what do we mean by the environment? Well, the good old Scarab SRV can be used for mining on planetary surfaces. It can also be used for attacking bases in Odyssey and Elite Dangerous Horizons. Coming in at a cost of 5,270 credits to replace one, it's cheap enough and disposable enough that if you lose one, it's not the end of the world. It's not all about combat and doing the environment a bit of damage though, is it? And using the Scarab as, as it was meant to be done, as a surface recon exploration vehicle does pay dividends in Elite Dangerous Horizons and Elite Dangerous Odyssey. In addition to the turret and the shields and its wheels, it also has sensors and a data link scanner and the wave scanner module, which is a unidirectional long range forward facing scanner that can detect a variety of vehicles and other items on the planet's surface. Data Link Scanner, however, will let you interact with scannable items, allowing you to get important log messages from beacons, or picking up other such materials, like data from other abandoned outposts. In addition to the shields, the weapons and the scanners, the little scarab is fairly strong, let's just say that. It's got fast regenerating shields. We've already spoken about that. It's nippy on the ground as well. But not only that, it does come with three headlight modes to illuminate your way in the darkness. And if that isn't enough, you can also use some night vision, which can be turned on on the dark sides of planets or moon, bringing light where none exists. For me, one of the major shortfalls of the SRV as it stands in the game today and that's the Scarab SRV, is the fact that you cannot engineer it in any shape or form. It basically is what it is. Everybody gets the same SRV, and that's one of the biggest shortcomings. Now, the other biggest shortcoming that I can think of is its lack of additional storage. If anything would have needed a trailer, it's this SRV to carry some more items. Two tons just doesn't cut it. Other games in the past have also added trailers to a sort of SRV, if you know what I mean. Either way, the new SRV is going to be a welcomed addition, and I for one think that if you can also add a bit of engineering to it as well, it really is going to become a formidable weapon, and be more of an asset to all those commanders doing attack the base missions and frontline solution missions. But we're going to have to wait and see. Thanks very much for watching, I've been Ricardo, and I'll see you soon.